Lid Garda is one of the best places where to go with the sailing boat and especially with the skiffs because you have wind, you have strong wind also and uh, it's quite flat or the waves are uh, not so long and, and usually quite tricky. It's a long time that the class come here uh, to sail from the 1999, so it's a lot of years. This year is uh, we host the European Championships and uh, we have uh, 17 boats uh, all from all around the Europe and from all around the world. So we have uh, USA, Australians, New Zealanders, we have uh, from Europe Great Britain uh, boats, uh, from Germany, Switzerland, Hungary. It's a difficult boat to sail. If you make a mistake, you immediately uh, uh, end up swimming. <laughs> and uh, you have to work together three persons and you have to work very well together. A little bit mistake, then you are, then you are swimming. Today we had three races in, um, in good conditions and it was a little bit lighter than some of the top teams thought. So they went out with the little mast, had to go in and change rig. Uh, but we had three good races in medium winds today. There was a collision with, between a New Zealand and an Australian boat just before the start and you know it, if it's just in front of the, the starting line and everyone wants the best position and sometimes the boat can be a little bit difficult to steer and then they were hooked together and capsized and yeah that's what happens. Great, good fun. You know, we made a bunch of changes since Sydney, and so we sped up. And Scott Pavage did a fantastic job. Now he's having the world champion on the boat, and Matt McKinley in the front. Well, I would say mainly tactical. Scott was making really good calls tactically. We didn't really get out of the blocks very well the first two races, and we had to kind of come work our way through the fleet. And it's it's a really difficult course to pass on because it's kind of a go right course, but there's little corners where you can cut things off and gain. <laughs>